PIMCO sees a highly compelling credit market now developing for three key reasons. First, the limited supply of flexible capital. Second, global macro headwinds. And third, a significant increase in corporate leverage. Increasing fragility of the market against the backdrop of rising rates, higher inflation, and slowing growth supports increasing demand for that flexible capital. Demand for private credit is growing from a variety of factors. Sheer growth of the market allows borrowers more certainty to execution, and the private market is often more flexible for customized financing terms required to meet certain unique borrower needs. To date, we've had enormous supply of capital serving loans to well-performing middle market companies. This has served to exponentially fuel the private credit market. But few of these managers offer flexible capital to borrowers, such as second liens, junior capital, and even preferred equity are often part of the solution we provide to borrowers. At PIMCO, given our size, we focus on larger size companies where the significant commitment is required to meet the financing needs. PIMCO recently provided the entire $700 million preferred equity investment to a large family-owned infrastructure company with short line rail, port, and terminal assets throughout the United States and parts of Canada. The company's assets are critical to North American infrastructure, difficult to replace, and provide a significant amount of end market and geographic diversity. Companies will increasingly require flexible capital solutions across their capital structures and will continue to be attracted to those managers that can commit the entire financing. The second reason that we see the increasing demand for private capital over the next few years uh, are the macro headwinds that we see out there in the economy. And then there are several. The Federal Reserve tightening monetary policy, reducing its balance sheet, is restraining the supply of credit into the economy. Meanwhile, of course, the economy is struggling with high inflation driven by uh, higher input costs, higher labor costs, leading to ultimately pressure on margins, something that we haven't seen yet, but we do expect to see uh, over the next few years. That in turn will stress corporate income statements and make it more difficult for corporations to fund themselves out of their cash flow, meaning that there will be more need for more uh, bespoke solutions in the private credit space. The third reason that we see an increased demand for private credit is simply the high level of leverage out there in the corporate sector in the United States and, and internationally. In the United States right now, business debt as a percentage of GDP is at an all-time high with the slight exception of the first and second quarter of 2020, looking at Federal Reserve statistics. Uh, those leverage ratios, this stock of debt, and then the, the leverage ratios on corporate balance sheets leave companies ill-prepared for any downturn in the economy and any downturn in margins. Many of these highly levered balance sheets are levered for growth. They're levered for growth and continued high margins. If we see disappointments in terms of growth, if we see declines in margins, that will put pressure on EBITDA. Meanwhile, of course, as the Fed is normalizing monetary policy, interest rates are going higher. And so companies that pay floating rate interest costs on their debt will see their interest costs go higher. And if you were to see at the same time EBITDA decline, it makes the difference between a company having a positive free cash flow and burning cash. And when you get into burning cash, then you start to hit a wall in terms of your credit fundamentals and you start to look about for new solutions in terms of your financing needs. We see an unprecedented demand for leverage developing now that we believe will disproportionately reward managers that can commit flexible capital in scale. The demand for financing is influenced by three factors. Record market size now across the public and private markets, $4 trillion, which represents three times the size of the market at the beginning of financial crisis. Companies now have record leverage just as we enter a cyclical period of rising rates and potential earnings declines. Finally, we believe that there is a lack of private capital to meet borrowers' full capital structures, and particularly for larger companies.